Stacia, thanks. Several cars parked outside of a Tulsa apartment complex are damaged after one of those cars caught on fire and then it spread to several others. A man who lives at the complex says that his car is one of the ones that was completely damaged. News on 6's Cal Day is live near Sunchase Apartments near 91st and Memorial with a look at that damage, Cal. Well, Tatum, Tulsa firefighters say this extremely windy day blew those flames onto the other cars. Norris Doak's routine getting ready for work seemed normal until he walked outside to get in his car. Instead, his vehicle is nearly unrecognizable with severe fire damage. I had to take off work today because of that. I have no way to get to work, and now i got to spend money on Ubers or rides or whatever the case is when I had liable transportation. Doak says nobody knocked on his door to let him know what happened. Instead, he found out for himself. His stress is increasing because he still owes thousands of dollars on his car. He doesn't know what to do now because he won't be able to make his payments and pay for a ride to and from work. And mind you, I'm a single parent. I have to take from funds I've built up for my son to go to college and all the different things and have to try to refigure this out. It's, it sucks, man. Firefighters say two of the cars were fully engulfed in flames when they got on scene. They think the fire started in one car, then spread to the others. These high winds are much more likely to uh, make fires spread and increase in size, and that's exactly what happened. So it spread to, to three additional cars. Firefighters say this was unavoidable for the car owners. For Dokes, he's now trying to work on a game plan. I got to pick up the pieces myself. I have no answers. I have, I have nothing. My insurance is only going to cover so much. Investigators are still trying to figure out the cause of the fire. They're asking all of those car own owners to report any recent work they've had done or if their cars have had any recent problems. Live in South Tulsa, Cal Day, Oklahoma Zone News on 6.